Well, hello there. Humans of these earthlings, have you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to, don't adjust your stereo sets. Do not adjust your televisual devices. This is the badger. And if it looks badass, it's because it is. Now, I'm not a big fan of tier 10 premium style tanks. It really just kind of blows my mind that we're here. But while we are, and they exist... It would be remiss of me not to talk about them. So I'm going to do a short little clip on this. And this was probably the easiest review I've had to do in quite some time. Because I've already done the review before. This is more of a catch-up. In fact, I've done two videos previously on the Badger. Because it's such a surprising tank for me. It's one of these weird tanks that does absolutely bucket loads of damage. But doesn't win nearly as much as it should. I think I've played 60 games in it. And only got like a 55% win rate. And... It's really odd uh, because I don't muck around with it. And although the average damage is only about 2,700 for me, like it gets four and 5K games so regularly, which I guess means it misses out on games where, like any non-turreted TD, it just, at times it gets caught and it gets screwed because the rest of the team is either too fast or it can't cover off on multiple angles at once. But... If you are thinking about getting a hold of this thing, you should know that it it needs to be driven hard. It's a little like the Jaegeru and the Object 263. They're both tanks that can do tremendously well when put toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bad guys. And when I say toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Badger, I mean toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You will never get a TD that just gets more bounces um, while face-hugging other TDs than this thing uh, it's it's penable on the upper plate when they go to premium ammo but not if they keep getting their gun stuck in your mantlet and your angle and your if they don't fire heat they're gonna struggle um and i mean look at this i've got a 140 behind me and i'm still gonna kill that guy turn around and kill the is4 before i get wrecked which goes a long way towards showing you exactly what uh, what the tank does. Now, just to let you know, I had three games today in it. Three games for uh, two losses and a draw. Um, I did 4K, 5K, 5.5K. <laughs> it's just... It's a monster. And I drive it so aggressively. I, I'm always taking it up the spout, right into the heavies, because it's a, a tank where getting close to the enemy isn't such a bad thing. And this this AMX 50B is like, oh, seriously? Oh, seriously? <sighs> this is a bad place to be, and if you're a French heavy tank uh, in front of the Badger, not good. Uh, if you drive it up really close, then... It will win hit point trades. And if you if you think doing 2.5k damage is a reasonable thing to be doing on your account, then the Badger will do that kind of thing for you. You have to be good enough to understand the positioning and the way the guys you're fighting are going to be... And you have to be good enough to move your tank around so that you, know, you don't get just overwhelmed. But it can do good things to bad people. Um... Uh, and like all TDs, it, it just struggles. Anything that doesn't have a turret, it struggles in these kind of situations where you have to make decisions on targets and you basically just get a trit down because, you know, oh, there's another badger. Like, hello. Um, you got me. You got me. Um, I also don't know how this grill over there lived. Like, he's got no hit points left there and there are two tanks right next to him. I have no idea how he is still alive. He he should have been dead like 15 times over. I, I don't understand what happened. Um, yeah, anyway, he, they got him eventually. And uh, it's just unfortunate. I guess he must have just fired the VK. And anyway, oh, bloody hell, I am meandering and rambling. So what does it do? Well, pretty much armor and damage. Like, look at how red it is. It's just red as red can be, but if you switch to APCR and you've got plenty of pen, then you can, you know, get some shots in it. It's totally doable. But I mean, at the end of the day, you're only human and you can't take on three or four people at once every single game. Um, but there are lots and lots of games where you can drop it into the 
heavy line and be incredibly effective. Uh, heavies do not expect to see a TD like this being so up front. And it's kind of wasted at the back. Um, if you're... <laughs> That guy's firing HE at me because he just couldn't really pen easily. Uh, if you're if you're in this tank and you're hanging around the back of the map, you're going to end up just. You, I'm sure you'll do some damage at the end, but it's it's guns a high rate of fire gun, and it's the kind of gun that isn't exactly perfect. It's not like it's a laser beam, and your traverse is very slow. The tank. It just feels slow. <laughs> I mean, you can see it's not fast. And that's going to be your biggest issue. It, it, your team will drive away from you. But you'll see, I'll, I'll drop into the slot here. And I mean, I've got tanks all over me. I've got absolutely got tanks all over me. And I've got to deal with a mouse, which isn't ideal. I've only got APCR here. And mouses are big as houses and very, you know, twice as tough and hard to move. And the badge is a big tank too. Don't get me wrong. It's actually a, a quite a large tank. And you can see... We, again, are getting just all day long surrounded and destroyed. But look at the bouncers. I mean, they are struggling to get through this badger. And I'm still doing damage. And this mouse is like, seriously, is someone just going to kill this thing? And then backing up and getting the angles right so that the heat bounces and... Just an absolute beast of a tank. If you have to get it, then be happy you're going to get it and you're going to get a good return on your money because it is... I look, oh, this is, I've talked about this before. I feel like it's a, a joke that there's premium tanks in tier 10, but if you're going to get a premium tank in tier 10, it ought to be good. And this is good. It's very, very good. Um, we just, you know, there's just too many tanks. Like, I'm just, I'm just struggling to constantly take the Badger forward and it's never running out of targets. Like, it's it's got plenty on its mind. Uh, and, just, and this guy, the 50B tracks me. Good shot by him. Like, well done. That's that's the game there. That's the game there, right there. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, very short and sharp. Uh, but... I think the Badger speaks for itself in its performance. Does a lot of damage. Doesn't always win games. <laughs> Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.